Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical SAS SDTM programming. In this video series, we are taking a look at some of the SDTM programming general concepts which are required across different SDTM domains. In this video, we will discuss about the lesson which is talking about creating tests as rows from variables which is Y2 long transformation. So we'll take a look at the background for this lesson first and then we'll move into the programming aspects. Then background. So in most of the databases that are used to capture clinical trial data, we get one variable for each question on the CRF form. Say for example, here on the screenshot uh, CRF form, this is related to echocardiogram. So we have four questions, assessment performed, if yes, the date when it is performed, left ventricular ejection fraction, estimated right ventricular ejection fraction. So we have four questions on this CRF form, which means we get one variable for each of this question in the raw data set that get extracted from the database used for capturing the clinical trial data. And most of the CRF forms are designed to collect the information for different tests as separate variables. So here there are information is collected for LVEF and RVEF. These are two different tests and these are collected as two different variables. So in most of the cases, the data from such pre-specified tests are to be organized into a findings domain in the SDTM structure. And this findings domain has a record structure of one record per test per time point. So if one well, if, if this form is assessed for a subject, we will get the information for two tests. One is LVEF and RVEF. These are two different tests. So as per the SDTM structure, we need to organize one row per LVEF and one row per RVEF, which means the information is collected in two different variables, but has to be presented as two different rows in our SDTM data set. So this transformation is frequently required for majority of the findings related domains. So we will see how to restructure the data collected in variables into rows in this lesson. Let us take a look at the input data that will be used for this lesson. So it is echocardiogram data. So we have data for one subject, which is collected across four different visits, screening, day one, day three, and an unscheduled visit. So we have the assessment performed question as echo yn and the date of collection as echo dat and the lvef result in a variable named lvef and the rvef result in a variable named rvef so we are trying to create sdtm findings domain using this data so let us take a look at the specification for this so this is an abbreviated specification because we are only specifically talking about the transformation of rows into variables and this does not talk about the, all the other dependent SDTM variables that are required along with these variables. So SV, we are being given the specification for CV test CD, CV ORRES, CV ORRESU and CV STAT. So let us take a look at the derivation algorithm provided for CV test CD first. So it says create one record for each test collected because we have two tests, LVEF and RVEF, RVEF is being collected and also an upfront question which is called as whether the assessment for LVEF or RVEF is performed or not. So we are supposed to create a maximum of two records when it is done and when it is when the assessment itself is not performed we will get only one test so it says populate as lvef when creating the record using lvef and populate as rvef underscore e when creating the record using rvef and populate as cv all when creating the record where echo yn is no so let's go back to the CRF form. So when the assessment itself is not performed, we are being asked to create a row with the CV test CD value of CV all. And when it is performed, we do not need to create CV all. We only need to create LVEF and RVEF. Now let us come back to the specification for other variables. So it says populate using LVEF when creating the record for LVEF test CD and RVEF when creating the record for test CD is equal to REV, RVEF underscore E and for original result unit so we are asked to populate test percentage when CVORRES is not null 
and then CV stat, which is completion completion status. We are being asked to set to not done when echo yn is no, and set to not done when L echo lvf is missing when creating lvef test, and similarly not done when echo rvf is missing when rvef rvef underscore e test is being created. So let's go to the input data set once and then try to assess. Say for example, we are for CV stat variable, whenever we are trying to create a row for RVEF test CD, when the result in RVEF is missing, we are being asked to populate CV status not done. And also we were asked to set RV, uh, CV stat to not done when the assessment is not performed. So on this row, when the assessment is not performed, we are trying to create a test CD called RV, uh, CV all. And on that record, we are being asked to set it to not done. So now let us move to the form output and then try to manually fill in the SDTM findings record structure for one or two visits. So here I have highlighted uh, the row for same collection in the for process data set and also the raw data set. So we have a collection under folder seek is equal to 101 and screening and I have highlighted that row in the process data set here. So here echo yn is no. So when the echo yn is no, we were asked to create a row with the CV test CD is equal to CV all. So I have pre-created that and kept it here. So when CV all and echo yn is no, we were asked to populate CV status not done. So let us populate that. So now what is happening here for day one is, so we have the upfront question whether the assessment for LVEF and RVEF is done or not. So when this is yes, so we are expecting results for LVEF and RVEF or at least one of them. So when one of them is present, so we don't need to create CV all. We need to create a row for LVEF and a row for RVEF. So when this is done, so as the assessment is done. So this gets translated into two different rows in SDTM, one for LVEF and one for RVEF. So that's what I have done here, LVEF and RVEF. So when we are creating the row for LVEF, we were asked to use the value present in LVEF variable and populate the CVORRES variable. So the value in LVEF when creating the row for LVEF is 67 so we have to populate it with the value of 67 and similarly when we are trying to create the row for rvef underscore e we were asked to use the value from rvef variable which is nothing but this 60 as we are duplicating this row twice once for lvf and once for rvef we are getting the same value here twice so this is nothing but the same record but we are using it once for LVF and once for RVEF. So the value 60, which is present in RVEF, has to be used in CVORRES when RVEF underscore E test CD is being created. And then we were asked to populate it as percentage in CVORRESU when CVORRES is not missing. So we are we have populated it this way. Similarly, let us try to do it for day three of subject 1001. So for day three, so we are trying to create a row for LVEF. When we are trying to create the row for LVEF, what value has to be used for CVORRES? It has to be from LVEF variable. The LVEF variable has a value of 65. On the row for LVEF, the value in CVORRES will become 65. And for RVEF underscore E, the variable rvef has a missing value so we were said that when if rvef is missing when trying to create the row for rvef underscore e we were asked to populate it as not done so as this is missing so as the test is not done we cannot populate cvorres but cvorres also we were asked to populate only when cvorres is not missing so 
we have created two rows out of the day three single record where LVF is done and RVF is not done. So this is how we can manually try to identify or create two or one record based on the data and how many tests are collected. So similar logic can be employed how many for how many number of tests you have that collected in raw data you will have those many number of rows at the maximum and now let us take a look at the programming approach that can be used to create this restructuring so here what we are trying to do here is as per the specification we are trying we were supposed to create a test CD called CV all when echo YN is no. So we are checking whether the echo YN is yes or no. When it is no, we are creating CV all as per the specification on this test on this record. We were also supposed to populate CV stat is equal to not done. And then we are outputting that record. So it becomes a new one record in the output data set. Else if echo YN is yes. So when it is not done, so we will only have one record in the input data set and that gets translated as one record in the output data set. When it is yes, so we have LVF and RVF are being collected. So we will have two records being created when the assessment is performed. So first we are trying to create a row for CV test CD is equal to LVF. For that LVF row, we were asked to populate CV status not done if LVF is missing. Otherwise, we were asked to use the value from LVF variable and assign it to CV or RES and populate the original result unit with percent sign. And then we used the output statement. So what happens? So the when it is yes, so we have outputted the record for LVF and then we do the same processing for RVF and outputting it again. So one record of yes is being outputted twice. So once for LVF and once for RVF. So the record structure will have one record per test which is collected after restructuring. So also note that we are setting the sum of the intermediate newly created variables to null before creating the next SCD so that the assigned values from the previous test CD do not get carried forward for the test which is being created next. So for RVEF, we have assigned the value of RVEF to the test CD and we are checking if RVEF variable has a value or not. If it is missing, we are setting the CV stat variable to a value of not done. Otherwise, when the result is present, we are using the value in RVF and assigning it to CV or RES variable and then assigning the value of percentage to the CV or RESU variable and then outputting the record. So when it is no, we get one record per each record present in the input data set. When echo YN is yes, we get one record per LVF and also one record per RVEF. And the dependent variables like CV stat, CV or RES are being created based on the corresponding input variable for that test CD. So this is how we can restructure the variables to rows when we are trying to create a findings domain in SDTM dataset. Let us take a look at the intermediate dataset that are getting created out of this. So here if you see so this is the first row for screening visit. So the echo YN was no. So we were creating a record with CV test CD is equal to CV all and then not done. So for day one, the echo YN in the input data set was yes. So that one record now has to become two records. This is what is happening. So one record is being created for LVF and the second record is being created for RVEF. And on the record for LVF, we are using the value from LVF variable and populating it in the CV over RES. And on the record for RVEF underscore E, we use the value from RVEF and then populated CV over RES. Similarly, we have done it for other visits as well. Thank you for watching and keep learning.